how beliefs affect japa uh-huh. you do a lot of workshops on yeah, chanting also yeah. so if if you're trying to go somewhere you're not going to go beyond that because that's your goal so i started to see how devotees goals were often connected to beliefs of what they could achieve and it was kind of what they could achieve based on their own ability not what is possible transcendentally everyone knows how when you chant in the afternoon your rounds aren't good your rounds are good in the morning but in the afternoon they're not good or the evening you know late at night before you go to bed and i'm tired you know they're not going to be as good as they are at 4 in the morning or 3 or 2 or whatever which is generally true but that's also a belief it's a belief based on experience because every time i chant my rounds in the afternoon they're not good every time i chant them in the morning they're much better so now i have this belief that rounds in the afternoon are not good so every time i have to finish my rounds and maybe in goa you go to the beach and take a walk they're always bad because that's what i expect because that's my belief so because i had done a lot of work on beliefs i could transcend that or i could work through that and so i wouldn't allow myself if i have rounds but right now in covid i i go out for a walk every day like 4 or 5 and finish my rounds cuz i i need to walk to get some exercise so i don't go out thinking well it's 5 o'clock you know it's the afternoon it's going to be bad i just go out thinking they're going to let's make them good why not and so I started asking the devotees. I said, you know, so what are your rounds like outside the morning? They were like, not very good. Everybody knows they're not going to be good. They're bad. And so we would, you know, I would let them talk about that. And then and then um I would say, okay. <clears throat> Has anyone here ever chanted some really good rounds like at 10 o'clock at night? And a few people would say, some of my best rounds were at 10 o'clock at night. Anyone ever chanted good rounds at Three in the afternoon. So my best rounds were, you know, like okay, I'm breaking your conception, because until you break that conception, you are automatically <laughs> the way beliefs work is you automatically do what your beliefs tell you because your beliefs have to sync or align with reality. That's the way they work, right? So if you chant good rounds at three in the afternoon, it doesn't sync with your belief that you can't. so automatically subconsciously you'll actually cause yourself to chant bad rounds to sync with that belief which is crazy isn't it but it's a reality and it's good to know that so once you know that then you can say okay it's 3 o'clock in the afternoon we're going to we're going to chant or we can chant excellent rounds now we can do it i have to shift my belief and then you'll find it you know you might say well could I actually chant as good as the rounds at 3 in the morning? I can't say that for sure, but what I can say, you definitely can chant good rounds if you if you reframe your belief. So again, it goes back to this idea that beliefs come from experience, and especially if I have the experience that 3 rounds at 3 in the afternoon are bad, you have the experience. All the devotees in Goa have the experience. All the devotees in Alaska, everyone's saying, "Yeah, 3 o'clock. Oh, man, those rounds are so bad." and we trace it back we put on our sherlock holmes hat and we trace it back to you know it said well chanting your rounds in the morning the best time to chant your rounds is brahma murta hour which translates it that every other time your rounds will be bad although it doesn't say that that became the belief the accepted mass consciousness belief in iskon and so you just inherited as a new bhakta and all your rounds in the afternoon if you're a pujari or whatever they're just going to be bad because that's how it is so it's kind of interesting isn't it right. to see the yeah, whole process work and so you know when i studied beliefs and i did work on myself then i i started seeing all kinds of beliefs there this is not just with japa there's all kinds of beliefs in iskon going around you know if you do this it's bad and if you do this it's good and so once you understand the process of beliefs then you have more control because then you can think well Wouldn't it be better to believe that I can chant good rounds any time of the day? Wouldn't that help? And you think, yeah, it would. And so you adopt that belief. Well, let's put that belief hat on and let's see what happens. And when you put it on, you realize 
Yeah, I did chant some pretty good rounds at three in the afternoon because I changed my belief about it. Otherwise, it's like I'm destined to chant bad rounds before I even put my hand in my bead bag. <laughs> Isn't it? So, you know, everyone should become aware of that. You know, they're if you're looking at your life and wondering why it is the way I don't want it to be, maybe you have a belief that's still acting on you. <laughs>